calculating original price. We're looking at discount and markups, but also at GST. So often we'll be given a question such as find the original price of an item marked at 15% off when that's its sale price of $125.50. There's a couple of different ways of doing this. We can just use a formula that the original price for R% percent discount is the new price multiplied by 100 over 100 minus R. So this formula will work. So here, find the original price of an item marked at 15% off when this is the new price. The new price, don't need dollar signs in our working, 100 over, now it's 100% minus the 15%. You can have it as 85, or you can simply write in here 100 minus 15. If you want to enter this into your calculator, remember all this is going to need brackets depending on the calculator that you're using. If you can use a fraction key, great. If you can't, brackets around that. 120, oops. Is there a fraction key? I'm sure there's a fraction key on this one. If I don't have the fraction key, because I've never learned to use this one, brackets around this one. See how it's actually kind of annoying to enter all that in. So my original price is 147.65. I've got to make sure I round to two decimal places. It would have been much easier to just do, that's 85. 125.50 times 100 over 85. Finding the original price after a markup. So again, we can have a formula. New price times 100 over 100 plus R. Or so I've taught you the formula. You can see that it works for this one. You will be able to use that. Your other option is being a little bit more logical. After a markup of 18%, a TV is priced at this. How much was it originally? We can set up an equation. A markup of 18% means 100% plus 18%. So we can do our 100 plus R equals the new price or it'd be 100 minus R if we were doing it for a discount. And then substitute in what we know and solve the equation. So this is in percentages. 118% equals 2,950. If you remember the unitary method from back in year eight, if I find 1%, I can then multiply by it 100 to get 100%. So if I divide both sides by 118 to get 1%, 1% is $25. So 100% is 25 times 100, 2,500. If you prefer, the unitary method works. If you prefer to use the formula, that would be fine too. So this is when we're finding an original price when I know the new price and the percentage didn't increase or decrease. One place this comes in handy is with GST. Remember that GST is a 10% tax on most goods and services in Australia. It stands for goods and services tax. Most of the time when you buy something, its price already includes GST. 
A lot of the time though, prices quoted without GST on some larger websites or when a plumber or an electrician might gives you a quote, sometimes it's a cost with or without GST. If you're told the cost with GST, sorry, if you're told the cost without GST, you might need to find the cost with GST. It's the original price plus 10%. Now I know how to find an increase of 10%. We learnt that in percentage change. That would be 100% plus 10%, so 110% because this is GST, of the original price, the cost without GST. And we remember how to find 110% of an original. That's 110 divided by 100. So 1.1 times the original, the amount without GST, will get you the cost with GST. So if you told the original price, multiply by 1.1 to get the price with GST. To find the cost without GST, we reverse that. We take the cost with GST and we divide by 1.1. So we have without GST, with GST. If you go from the original and add GST, you'll multiply by 1.1. If you go from the price with GST, you'll divide by 1.1 to get back to without GST. Really, it's like finding the original price after a 10% increase. So if you wanted, you could go back to new price times 100 over 100 plus R. But since it's always going to be 10% for GST, we might as well just learn that it's 1.1. So if the selling price of a washing machine is $900, what's the price before GST was added? So I want to find the cost without GST, which is the cost with GST, divided by 1.1. So it was $818.18 before GST. If you wanted to work out the GST amount, then you could subtract that from your original price. There's a lot of different options of ways to tackle GST. It's 10% increase. You can work with that. Just remember though, to get cost before GST was added, divide by 1.1.